There's a difference between trendy and timeless. This isn't just slapping a retro logo on a contemporary hat. Our vintage ball caps are true to their heritage. Six panel, eight panel, pill box. Hand sold emblems on wool, broadcloth, and baseball uniform flannel with our trademark green satin under visor. Only the best for our ball caps. Ebbets Field Flannel. What up, is your boy Throwback King? So I'm gonna try to do something a little different today. Um, I can tell by the intro, I'm gonna start showing some of my Ebbets Field Flannel um, hat collections. Um, as you can tell by my past couple videos, I've been going real heavy on the Ebbets Field Flannel um, jerseys, and I've also been going real hard with the with the hats. Um, something. Uh, I haven't made a hat video in over 10 years. I believe the hat, first hat video I ever made is I deleted it for some reason. But I decided to do something different um, and actually show my Epic Field flannel hat collection that's, um, that I've noticed that is growing. <laughs> so, And for my birthday um, and Christmas, uh, I asked, my, I asked uh, Santa Claus, a.k.a. my girl, to get me some um, Epic Field flannel hats. And she got them for me, so I'm going to share that with you guys. And I'm gonna show. Actually, I'm rocking my Santurce hat. Uh, this is the hat that uh, Roberto Clemente wore while he played in, in Puerto Rico. The thing I love about Everfield flannels, they um, it's kind of like their jerseys. They're made to order. Once you buy them, they make them. And you know, obviously, it's a faster process because it's not it's not a jersey. And the quality of these jerseys are just amazing. I love their signature green satin underbrim. It switches on every Everfield flannels hat. And they're all made in the USA. So this is my Santurce hat. And I'm just going to get started with my uh, Ebbet Fields flannel um, hat collection. So I'm going to try to go straight through the hats. Um, I'm going to start you off with a hat that I've shown before. It's the Kansas City Cats hat. Was, I believe it was a minor league team. I'm not really sure of the history of it. But it's actually a, a team that actually had this logo. Uh, so I think it's a dope logo. That's the only reason I got this hat. I thought it was different. And of course, that green satin underbrim. And all the hats are going to have green satin under it, so I'm going to try not to repeat myself when I do this. Uh, another hat that's pretty rare. Um, some of the, the thing I like about um, Everfield flannel hats, they're kind of like sneaker drops too. When they drop a hat, um, they usually tend to sell out. Not as fast as sneakers, but once they sell out, it takes a while for them to restock the, the hat. And this is a hat they haven't restocked in forever. And it's the Hartford um, Chiefs hat. I found this one on eBay uh, for a really good price. These, actually, actually, these hats actually go for good resale price. Uh, resale prices if the the, the hats are uh, are rare. And yeah, this is I had to get this hat because you know I'm being from Hartford. I have the Hartford Chiefs jersey. Needed this hat in my collection. I was so lucky to find it on eBay for a really good price. And so moving forward, this is the three hats I got for uh, for Christmas, man. So this is the San Francisco um, Seals hat. With the, of course with the green brim. I'm gonna keep repeating the green under brim, which is pretty dope. Uh, this is a hat that I got because I ended up getting a Seals jersey um, that I might show in my future videos. I actually posted a, a, a sneak peek of that jersey on my Instagram, Fat Boy Snacks. If you haven't followed, I just like the the design and I love orange and uh, navy blue. It's a pretty dope color combination. The second hat I got for Christmas was the San Jose Bees. Um, I wore this on my last video when I was wearing my um, Puerto Rico hat. Um, the reason I got it is because uh, the SJ, it's not, it doesn't stand for San Juan, but it stands for San Jose. And But the San Juan um, uniforms that um, Roberto Clemente wore, their logo is kind of like this. So I'm hoping uh, uh, I've been filled flannels, makes a San Juan hat, and I'll definitely cop that. Um, so for my birthday, I, I got another three more hats. So I ended up getting this Montreal um, Royals hat. It's the same hat that Roberto Clemente wore um, when he was the minor league team for the Brooklyn Dodgers. So, and also Jackie Robinson wore this hat with the white um, button top. So, definitely needed this for my collection. Another one I wanted is the Homestead Grays, um, the Negro League hat. It's just a plain black hat with that G. It's just a classic hat if you know about the Negro Leagues. And this is uh, something I really, uh, in the future, I really want to get a um, Josh Gibson. Um, Homestead Grays jersey, so I already got the hat for it, so I'm ready to go for that. Um, and this is a new style hat for me, man. This is really dope. Um, the Brooklyn um, Royal Giants, man, with the short brim. Like I said, they focus on the accuracy of the hats that they wore. 
and the short brim is so dope and it still has the satin um green satin under brim uh, let me try this one on man it's just a dope looking hat i was kind of scared how it looked look kind of funny but it actually looks kind of fresh man so the brooklyn that b with the pinstripes and stuff like that you can even wear it like this if you wanted to i just think it's a dope style it's something different um i'm looking forward to getting more short brim hats from them this is just like how they wore it back in the 19 whatever is man so it's just a really dope hat brooklyn royal giants dope hat um and the last hat in my collection um if you don't know um i'm a navy veteran um serving the navy between 2000 and 2004 and they have so made uh navy jerseys man they have i believe they have marines and army uh, throwback jerseys um, but i had to pick up the hat it's just simple and um felt and with the navy with the navy uh, brim of course you already know last time i'm gonna say it with that green satin under brim like i said all these hats are made in usa so just the quality the wool materials and all that stuff flannel materials is so dope man so shout out to uh ebbet fields flannels man so far my my uh ebbet field flannels collection is is gradually growing and um another thing if you order three hats um they send you a free um, like wool cleaner brush with EFF and uh, these actually work miracles <laughs> it takes all the dust mites and all that stuff off of it so every time you order three hats they send you one of these which is really dope for free and I think I believe you get like a slight discount also when you buy three or more hats so yeah man this is my Abbey Fields flannels collection so far I have a Kansas City uh, Kansas City Monarchs hat came uh, coming in that just dropped and I think they basically almost sold out already So I'm excited to get that hat man. So shout out to Ebbett Fields Flannels. Shout out to all my subscribers, man um, Wanted to bring something different besides jerseys and stuff like that So if you haven't subscribed subscribe if you have thank you